Hey guys, well I got something a little different for you today. Um, I'm gonna work on the International a little bit, maybe later today or tomorrow, but in the meantime, I've got a project on the fifth wheel here. That's kind of cool. Well, part of it's really boring and normal basic maintenance is not very fun, but part of it's cool. So let me uh, let me show you what I, what I picked up for this thing and what we're gonna get done today. So here's Nancy all hooked up to uh, this is our Mesa Ridge 42-foot uh, fifth wheel. It's a bunkhouse we picked up this last summer. Um, upgraded from a Jayco 35-foot. So what I'm working on today is running gear. So um, these are the factory wheels and tires. So they're the they're 16s. Um, eight lug, obviously. This thing runs 7,000 pound axles. Um, because it's a GVW of uh, 15.5. So the tire size is the, these are ST235 85 R16. So they're the, the taller of the 16 inch, which actually in my mind makes things worse. Um, if you guys watch any of my videos, you've probably heard me complain about the 16s on like dump trailers at work and whatnot. So um, these tires are, you know, marginal at best. Um, I don't know if West Lakes are made in the USA or if they're China bombs, but um, regardless, they're not a they're not a high end tire, and even a high end tire in this side size. Look at that sidewall. I mean, I have big hands, and look at that. That's like a that's like a seven inch sidewall or something. Um, you know, so they're you guys don't some of you guys aren't sure what uh, how metric tire sizing works, so. This is an ST indicating it's a trailer tire. You know, P would be passenger, LT truck, et cetera, et cetera. But um, the 235 is the is the tread width, so that's a 235 millimeter tire. And then 85 would be the aspect ratio. So that's essentially the percentage of the tread width that the sidewall is, if that makes sense. So on this one, it is 85, the sidewall is 85% of 235 millimeters so yeah whatever that math is somewhere around 100 and high hundreds millimeters so um basically when you see an aspect ratio of 85 that's a tall tire essentially you know we're probably oversimplifying that and then r16 obviously means it's a 16 inch wheel so you know the problem with these 16s is that they flex a lot when you're backing in so applic some applications they're not as big of a problem you know over the road type stuff maybe on a on a gooseneck trailer or something, they might not be as much of a problem, but on stuff I've run into that I use, so dump trailers and fifth wheels, both of which do a lot of um, a lot of tight turn backing, which is hard on these sidewalls. Um, so you end up with problems there. You also end up with, you know, obviously when that sidewall flex is so hard and it's twisting over against the bead, it puts a lot of pressure on um, suspension, namely, um, you know, bearings, but also onto uh, um, axle flanges, spindles, and usually where you see the problem come through, though, in my experience, is on the hangers and shackles. Um, just puts a ton of stress on them. So I don't care for the 16s. I, I like low pro tires. Um, I know they don't ride as well, but it's it's pretty minimal in my mind. Um, you know, that's part of the reason why I like my truck with the 19.5s. It's a commercial tire. Um, and and it behaves like a commercial tire um get better mileage out of it I shouldn't say better mileage better you know longevity out of the tires um and I, I just prefer it so um what we've got today is you know it's spring it's uh end of march and i've got kind of a half a day here because i just uh i just went into work for half a day this morning and then sold the dt360 out of the bus actually just got that loaded up on a really nice guy trailer from uh, he's out of ohio um came up it's gonna as i suspected that motor's gonna end up in a super duty he uh he came up in his 05 uh 60 truck and it will uh it will end up living in that so you can see i already started on the project i've got my first um my first wheel off so i don't know if i said it or not i lost track of what i'm, what I'm saying here but it is uh it is spring so we are going to uh you know this trailer's probably got about eight thousand miles on it nine thousand miles we put on it last year but it's uh, it's time to pack some bearings, and this is the exciting part. This is the new wheels and tires that are going on this. So, um, ordered these a few weeks ago. 
Um, these wheels are, um, the manufacturer is called Boar Wheels, if you guys aren't familiar with them, B-O-A-R. They're out of, I think, South Dakota, someplace out west. Um, but they, uh, these are custom manufactured. These are 19.5s. Um, but if you look close, they're 19.5s. And you can't see, you know, there's one part you can see, one part you can't. But the part you can't see is that that's an 8 on 6.5 bolt pattern. And a um, 4.9 inch hub opening, which works great. It's perfect for 7,000 pound um, Dexter slash Lippert axles. And then the most important part, which is hard to find in a 17.5, let alone a 19.5, to my knowledge, these are the only options to, to, to upgrade to a 19.5. 17.5, there's tons of options, but the issue is, is the stud hole size. They tend to be 9.16 or usually 5.8, and they take a flange nut, a big wide flange nut. Um, this, as you can see, if you look close, see that taper? So that's a half inch stud hole, ready to accept a tapered acorn nut. So literally the same nuts I took off of my factory aluminum wheels are gonna go right on and hold these on. And on top of that, my center caps um, work perfect too because they're, they're, they're both set up for a 4.9 inch uh, hub bore. So I've been looking at these for a while, pretty excited that was uh, able to finally have a trailer that, that uh, warranted upgrading to them. So um, I didn't go for the aluminum. Uh, it's a little too rich for my blood. These weren't bad. These were, I think, about 170 bucks a piece. Aluminum, you're talking another, you know, $100 premium. I'm already spending enough on this upgrade, so this is where we're going to be. I don't mind the weight. I actually don't mind the look either. I know it's not as fancy or flashy, but but I kind of I kind of prefer it to be honest. So, um, especially with the, the with the, the little silvery gray tone, and then that having that you know chrome center and and chrome lugs, I think it really pops it anyway. Um, tires, I went middle of the road. These are imports. Um, they're double coins, but, um, talk to my tire guys, they get, uh, they're a nice all position, um, you know, nothing aggressive, um, and they have pretty good luck with them, so I'm, I'm gonna go with it, the tire. So these are a load range G, um, a 14 ply, and, you know, those sidewalls, obviously, compare it to my hand, compared to the other tire, we probably lost two to three inches, which is what we gained in rim size, but, um, you know, construction and weight of this tire, you know, this is... I'm going to guess that this is a 200 pound wheel and tire combo. So significantly heavier than those aluminum with, uh, with a 16. So we did increase our unsprung weight by quite a bit, but I'm not worried. We're not, we're not max loaded on this trailer at all. So, um, you know, we don't full time in this thing. This is a, this is a vacation trailer. You know, we go on trips up to, you know, two to three weeks at most with it. So, you know, we're not loaded down crazy. So anyway, I'm going to get done, get going on repacking the bearings. I'm not going to show you guys that there's probably a billion videos on YouTube about repacking bearings. So I'm just going to do my thing, get that done. We'll get these tires bolted up um, and uh, check out what they look like. Okay, guys, so we got the first one done. And uh, I'm going to show you a little comparison. So as you can see, I mean, the outside diameter is slightly more. It's around three quarters of an inch-ish. Um, i got to play with pressure on that one still, but I just mounted it. But, um, you know, it's a good-looking wheel and tire combo. Um, you know, and we're going to be tight in the middle, but we got, got plenty of room. We'll have a solid inch and a half probably between the tires, so no worries there. Um, you know, no rubbing, obviously, offset. You know, if you look down the line, offset is identical. So, no issues in there. So, yeah. I'm pumped. These things are awesome. As I'm working on these, assembling this brake, one thing I'm pretty excited about, I don't see as often anymore, is uh, I thought these were Lippert's. They actually are real Dexter's. And on top of that, like most, I think anything real Dexter actually is made in the USA. Um, you know, the import stuff isn't name brand Dex Dexter, but, um, so, you know, not something you would commonly see on a, uh, on a camper, you know, on an RV, because, you know, the reality is anybody who owns an RV knows they, they, they tend to cheap out on stuff. So pretty, pretty pleasantly surprised that we've got American-made Dexter stuff on this thing. 
Love it. All right, guys, so here's the finished product. We got everything, all suspension, wet bolts greased, and the uh, wheels and tires put on. And they look awesome. I am pumped about these. Fit perfect, good gap all the way around. I mean, I know it looks tight to the fenders, but it is not. Those are just the, you know, the plastic shells on the outside. There's plenty of suspension travel space, inches upon inches. So um, I, I think this looks way better than the factory aluminum wheels. Just much, much better. And I couldn't be happier with the fact that I can probably count on the fact that we're not going to have any catastrophic failures driving through uh, south and west in the next few years as we uh, take the kids on summer vacation because any of you who have a fifth wheel or camper know probably seen the the catastrophic damage that happens when one of these let go it's that's all that's all gone um, a lot of times it's a it's a total loss when you you know one one catastrophic failure going down the road so checking your pressure um, having good tires and uh, watching your speed are all pretty imperative well that's that for that one hope you guys enjoyed it